Three, two, one. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? What are you doing? You didn't even. Hey! Stop talking to me! Stop yelling! Dude, stop talking! Dude, what the heck? He's trying to tag me! My chicken! He's trying to tag me! Don't help! Fire truck! Fire truck's trying to kill me. Come at me, buddy. Come at me, huh? I got a pool noodle now. What in the world, dude? I'm getting attacked. Someone document this. I may need this in court. <laughs> what is his deal? I do want to say this. This is not the first time he has attacked me. <laughs> to be honest, fire truck, when you came into this world, I kind of thought you was going to be a cool little dude, but you are not. You have tried to attack me multiple times, and I now have it on footage. That can be used in court. <laughs> Justice will be served. You're fine, Linda, but you are not fire truck. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you guys, I've been having to carry around a pool noodle because he has attacked me. I'm just glad we finally got it on footage. <laughs> yeah, there he goes, acting like he's one, telling all of his people. <laughs> he's out of here. He's, he's done. 16 strikes, he's out. We're getting the cage. He is going to disappear today. His contract is over. <laughs> Nope, too late now, buddy. So let me just give you a little background if you wasn't here whenever we got fire truck. So we got him around a month ago. I got him because I wanted to hatch off some chicks and I needed the eggs to be fertile. But I didn't have a rooster, so none of them could be fertile. So I actually borrowed him from my neighbor, but now, I mean, we got that chicken hat sitting on eggs, which you'll see here in a minute. And then I've actually got a big bunch in an incubator. His job is over. I don't feel like getting attacked anymore. He is about to be evicted, especially if he's a criminal. So... We're taking him back. No, sir. I ain't having this. Plus, he's so loud and honestly annoying. I've been out here for 20 minutes just trying to make a video, and he just won't stop talking. Here he goes. Here he goes. Listen to it. Listen to it. What in the world's he talking about now? And to be quite honest, it's not that fun watching your back every time you're walking around to make sure he ain't going to claw you in your face. <laughs> Got him. Fire truck has been detained. He's under arrest. Now I know that he looks like he's struggling because he 100% is, but listen dude, he just attacked me. He deserves to be roughed up a little bit. Builds character, ain't that right big fire truck, huh? Ain't that right big fire truck? Now how's it feel to get your back scratched now, huh? How's it feel fire truck? I'll tell you guys, I don't like him one bit. I don't know how I'm gonna get to do it. Oh no, fire truck, fire truck, no! Ah, fire truck got away. Listen, he's gonna go tell a story now. He's gonna be clucking for an hour until I can get him. He tried to kill me. He tried to kill me. That's what he's saying. I don't like him. I don't like him at all, dude. It's over, fire truck. I have the high ground. Come on, fire truck. Come on, fire truck. This dude's dangerous. You don't need to underestimate a chicken named fire truck. Evil, man. Evil. Shut the door. Shut the door. He has been contained. He is detained. Mission complete. Death chicken down. Finally, justice has been served. Unless he can break out of my cage somehow and kill me or something. Which I wouldn't be surprised if he does. That's what he's been trying to do for like a month now. You, sir, have the right to remain silent. Whatever you say or do can be used against you in the court of law. I tell you one thing, you'll never flog my leg again. That ended right here, right now. Your time here has been cut short. Due to your actions and malicious behavior. I never did like that chicken. I'll tell you right now, the day I got him, he he, he literally always tried to attack me. And quite frankly, I didn't like it. Hey, save it for the judge. That's attempted murder. Premeditated too. He knew he was going to do it. Anyways, in the meantime, while we, uh, well, we let him sit over there for a minute, cool down before we actually take him back. There is one thing. I don't know if y'all know this or not, but that chicken right there, she's going to hatch eggs in three days. And I need to get her out of this lot and over to our new one. That way, you know, there's not chicks running around with full grown chicken. They may not like that. We're going to have to cover her up and transport her. It's all right. Just, uh, hang loose, I guess. You will be fine. Now, let me just pick you up and transport you real quick. Should be real easy. Hang in there. We'll move her on her. We will transport her right on up to her new kingdom. Hopefully she doesn't jump out halfway. But I don't think she will. She's a whole lot better behaved than fire truck. Fire truck, good I don't know what his problem was. Bad childhood, I guess. I'm gonna come over here and put you into your new hatching sanctuary. And so now what we're looking at is this chicken with her eggs has a completely new enclosure, kinda. The little chicks may be able to get out of these little holes, but then the mom can has to stay in there. 
so the chicks will always go back in. Now all we gotta do is wait a couple days and they should hatch, but I'm sure that'll probably be in a different video. What is good, Grey Gang? We're here today. We are actually doing a little bit of turkey hunting. I'm just gonna come up front and tell y'all, I don't know much about turkey hunting, but one thing I do know is that it is stinking freezing out here, and I'm not a fan, okay? Like, I tell you what, guys, it's supposed to be April. It's supposed to be warming up, but it is not stinking snowing. See the snow? Ridiculous. Now, before you go down in the comments and tell me that I'm supposed to be out here earlier and I'm already supposed to have some turkeys located, well, I guess you can kind of go roast me. I guess I kind of deserve it. I'm kind of just going to stand in this field for a minute or two, maybe five minutes. I want to hear a gob before I actually head in a direction. And so while we're waiting on them to gobble, I'll go ahead and show you my gear. I didn't bring a lot of it because I figured, honestly, I don't need too much. Number one, I brought my shotgun. Now, this is my 870. I was going to use that automatic hat field, but uh, well, it don't have a sling, and I ain't carrying it around all that. This one Right here should do us pretty good. Kennel dude, are you serious? What in the world? Did you forget the shells? I forgot the shells. What kind of turkey hunter am I? <laughs> a bad one, I can tell you that. Oh, never mind, I found them. Shells, I'm uh, using clay pigeon shells. Federal, feel free to sponsor me with good shotgun shells. But then I do have full ghillie suit legs. I mean, pants. KG camo long sleeve, KG camo hat. And then right in here, I do have KG camo gloves and a KG camo face mask. And then, of course, to carry my stuff, I do have my KG fanny pack. Now, I'm not trying to front out here, okay? I'm going to be honest with you. On the website, it has the best turkey hunting gear ever. We got the long sleeve shirts, the face masks, the gloves, the hats, all matching camo. You seriously can't do any better for turkey. Now, I'm not a turkey hunting expert, but I do know that they have really good eyes and sometimes they even wear glasses so yeah you better be camoed up boy otherwise you just may not kill a turkey like me oh snap did y'all hear that it was close Oh, never mind. It was a goat. Well, that ain't gonna work. Mm. And then also in my fanny pack, I have this turkey call right here. I don't even—I don't even know what it's called. This is the only turkey call I own. But there's one thing about this turkey call: I am not afraid to use it. If I have to, I'll stab one with this. I don't even know what this is. I think it's where you scratch it or something. Long story short, if you're watching this video to learn how to turkey hunt, go somewhere else, son. You ain't gonna learn nothing here. <laughs> What are you looking at, Chip? Nothing's gobbling. I'm just gonna head in that way. That's where I heard one a few days ago, anyways. Now, I don't know about you guys, but turkey hunting for me, with all the leaves growing up, it just brings up some Vietnam type vibes. I mean, of course, I wasn't alive during Vietnam, but if I was, I just imagine this is what it would look like. Okay, guys, I gotta try to start being a little bit more quiet. I'm having too much fun out here. And I definitely just broke that log. I told you KG Camo was good. You can't even see me. Disappear right beneath your eyes. I'm back. Anyways, guys, I've came a pretty good ways in here and I've, I've not heard anything. Like I know for a fact, three years ago, there was a turkey that lived here. But then two or three days ago, I heard him gobble back over there. So anyways, I've not heard him gobble. He might be dead. Someone may have blew his brains out by now. But I'm just going to hit the call a little bit and see if I can get a response. It's kind of like smoke signals at this point. I'm just going to throw some stuff up and see if I can get a return. And also, feel free to make fun of my calling sequence down in the comments. Because I can tell you right now, it ain't going to be pretty. In the world, I don't reckon that was a turkey. <laughs> okay, well, newsflash if you're a hen in these woods, you might as well just jump off a cliff because ain't no one wants to talk to you, or at least my hen. My hen may be sick, anyways. Looks like this part of the woods is dead. Maybe I'm in a really bad spot for audio. Maybe they just can't hear me. I'd at least like a gobble just from like respect, you know. I like to be respected, but I don't, I just don't feel respect, and it kind of upsets me. We need some R-E-S-P-C-T-E. Respect. <sighs> you hate to see it, guys. As you guys can see, um, uh, looks like we lost a soldier this morning. He was a fighter. He was one 
They will never be forgotten. Also, his name is Rick. You can tell because look at his fingers. Rick was the only squirrel I've ever known to have fingers like that. Long story short, guys, you already know what happened. If you look close, you can actually see Goodyear right across there. Unfortunately, he was, uh, well, hanging around in the road. Wrong place, wrong time. He got hit. Possibly a school bus. I'm not here to speculate, but it could also be a UPS or FedEx truck. It's kind of a toss-up. Depends on who you are, what you're looking for. But, uh, we'll flip him over real quick. Just, uh, yeah, that's his eyeball hanging out. That's not a blueberry. <laughs> You know, it's always hard for us to lose an animal. Usually whenever we lose an animal, because we shot it. But then at least we can eat it, okay? This one here, unfortunately, we got to it a little bit too late. I was thinking we was finally gonna get to do the roadkill catch and cook challenge. But to be honest, guys, this dude seems a little bit bloated. Also, it's a she. And she might have actually had kids, because, you know. But I mean, yeah, guys, in this case, unfortunately, it's a little bit too old. We cannot eat this girl. Oh, wait, it's a girl. And her name's Rick. Okay, that doesn't add up, but you know what? She's never complained about it before, so. I've got an idea, guys. We're not gonna let this guy go to waste. We're gonna do something really special. It's almost like a memorial, except we are gonna get stuff from it. We are going to set Rick in front of a trail camera and see what eats him. While at the same time, morning. Where you think it could have been a motorcycle? It would have been a motorcycle. As for Rick, we are going to pull him right over here. And I think we're just going to very, very simply set him right or her right there. I got the trail camera right there. We're going to strap it on the tree facing him. What we're going to do is we're actually going to leave it on him. Well, in, until something eats him. 